Hello everyone! Do you want to see what's on the other side of that window? You're not ready for the beauty! Guys, we're in Bagno Vignoni. It's a small village in Tuscany, really small. In the middle of the village, there's this big fountain filled with thermal water and in the morning when the temperature is low outside but it's warm in the water you have this steam it's so beautiful our hotel room is right here hello baby boy say hi what's up baby it's so beautiful all right now we gotta go do one of my favorite things in the world go get breakfast at the hotel this time I was really happy with my breakfast. Of course, we didn't have direct access to the buffet, but it's normal, I mean, COVID. I didn't eat all of those things. By the way, my naturopath would literally kill me. The American in his natural habitat. <laughs> I'm kidding. We arrived yesterday because Brian had the idea for our anniversary. He booked this hotel. This. 50 yen. This hotel has a spa and we spent the day at the spa and we relaxed and we had a beautiful dinner and today we want to explore because we're in Tuscany. You know I'm from Rome, Lazio is not that far from Tuscany but I've never really visited Tuscany that well. I know, that's crazy. You have, right? I lived in Florence for two months but I don't think I went around Tuscany many times. You haven't? I mean, I've visited some places. You have your toothbrush in the bathroom. True. <laughs> So now we'll check out and we'll explore a little bit here in Val d'Orcia. Also, Val d'Orcia. Oh, I said Valle d'Osta. I was like, no. <laughs> no, it's not Valle d'Osta. Also, guys, I know that I look very, very puffy. Maybe you cannot tell, but. Puffy! One eye is more closed than the other. It looks weird and it looks like I slept for literally like two hours. But it's not lack of sleep, it's the fact that I suffer from bad reflux, I know. And my naturopath told me that when I'm puffy on my eyes, it's because my reflux is bad. I'm ready. I'm almost ready. It's a cool place. It's unique. What other countries have a public fountain full of thermal hot water? Probably some countries. Honestly. It's cool because if it's winter and you get locked out of your own house and you're like freezing to death, you can always hop in the water like a snow monkey and survive the night. That's a nice luxury. Yeah, pretty cool. The village is really, really small. You can probably visit it all in less than two hours, but it's cool because it has some old ruins and the water that you see here is hot. How cool is that? If you saw this somewhere, would you be able to tell it's Italy? I think so, yeah. Why? Especially like over here, like those thin tall trees are those cypress trees. Yes, the cypress trees. Those, the house, just looks Italian. Now we want to go to the second one. It's called, oh my god, I'm afraid that my pronunciation is bad. San Quirico. 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 I don't know. Quirico. We're going there. I feel really happy about this weekend because I have to be honest with you guys. Lately I was feeling a little sad. I think it's because after a year of coronavirus, you know better than me, I'm a free spirit and I was feeling sad. I have to get better at doing stuff in my own country because I'm lucky and I have a beautiful country and I don't need to travel to Japan and America and other parts of the world, if I can't, to have fun. I can just explore near towns and villages and it's just as beautiful. My a resolution for these upcoming months is to travel in Italy a little bit more. I'm feeling happy and positive. Okay, let me add this real quick. Things have changed and things keep changing really, really rapidly, so I don't know how much we'll be able to travel in Italy, but if we can't, we'll make do with what we have. So it's all good. Next stop, Quirico. Italy is such an old country. <laughs> One of the best things you can do when you explore an Italian town is just, just walk around. Forget about the map, forget about where you are, just start walking and explore all the little alleys. It's something Brian and I love to do. You can see a lot of beautiful churches, you can see the people, you can see the shops, you can see an old lady hanging out her laundry. It's beautiful. 
and this is what I like to see in Italy. People having coffee at a cafe on a Saturday morning. That's the Italian essence. What do you wish? I can't wish anything. <laughs> What time is it? Noon. <laughs> you know? So it works. Okay, we're leaving. Next stop, Pienza. See you there. Okay, we're here. Let's go. So I'll explain. So okay. correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. So this was an old, old town and it wasn't even called Pienza. But then a boy was born. He grew up here and he eventually became the Pope. As the Pope, he became pretty rich, and one day as an older man, he came back here and he said, wow, my town is not that nice. I'm rich, let's build it again. So they basically re redid the entire town and their goal was to make it, quote, the perfect city. And so they redid it in four years. Yeah. And now, since then, it hasn't really changed much. So now it should be a perfect city. Wow, you were, good. You were listening to me when I was telling you these things. I listen. Pienza really is something else. I mean, it's really, really cute. It's one of those Italian hidden gems. Not even that hidden, actually. <laughs> it's one of the most famous little towns in Italy. But, I mean, I know why now. We walked a little bit, and even though we had a pretty big breakfast because we thought we wouldn't have lunch out, Brian, rightfully so, wanted to try some Italian lunch meat and some Italian cheese and some Italian wine because, I mean, I mean we were in Val d'Orcia, so I totally feel him, but since I'm a pescatarian, I couldn't have the meat. Since I am on a healing diet, I couldn't have dairy, so I could only have some ricotta cheese. And since I have bad reflux, I couldn't have wine. So I, let's just say I enjoyed my water. Oh, you're loving it? You're loving, loving, loving it? You still think that American lunch meat is better than Italian lunch meat? No comment. Oh, why? I don't want to comment on that. You still think it's true? No comment. One thing I've learned, Brian is terrible at dealing with bees. I hate bugs. What do you do with bees? Show them. And the hoodie thing. <laughs> Guys, wait. I just realized I cut it on camera. He's ruining this. <laughs> Is he gone? Yeah. Okay, girls in Pienza cannot wear heels. We, we paid and uh, I bought some cheese for my parents and then I saw this. It's called Confettura di cipolle in Italian <laughs> and Brian was like what's confettura di cipolle and I said it's onion jam and yeah. he was like Ew. It doesn't sound like the most appealing thing like do you want some jam on your crackers yeah on your croissant? onion jam, onion jam. <laughs> and I was like Brian it's for the cheese and it's delicious uh, even on cheese it still doesn't sound good just onion oh, it's jam Oh okay. guys, oh it's delicious, it's delicious. Confettura di cipolle on cheese, my god. My, I'll give it to my mom. Yeah. One thing I love about Pienza is that I finally downloaded this app called ePark. Easy Park. Easy Park? Yeah. Easy Park. And I didn't have to find coins to pay for the parking. So, and if we have this in Rome, I'm like, so I don't think we happy. have it in Rome though. Why not? I've never seen it. Why would they have it in a small little town? We don't have it in Rome and it's the most convenient thing ever. Guys, do you know if we have easy parking in Rome? Maybe we do. We would have noticed it by now. By the now. other day, oh my god. The other day we parked and we went to pay and in the meantime someone gave us a ticket like so literally from the time we parked and got out of the car and walked to pay in the time we were walking and paying for the parking ticket someone gave us a parking ticket like the parking ticket was at 305 and our ticket started at 307 because it was on the other side of the streets we couldn't see that they were giving us a ticket of course i would have told them thank you Let's go home now.
We're home, we're tired. It's got a lot. More energy. It's got a lot. More energy. It's got a lot. More. It's got a lot. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Hi.